So yeah, we're out here replacing a different brand skimmer. Biofalls. So for everyone that's wondering, the biofall starts the waterfall. The skimmer is where the pump sits, just so this guy, he's new. Sorry guys. I didn't have my double shot today. I'm just dragging on regular coffee. No, so. it's just it's just common sense. That's what you're missing. I didn't sleep good last night. Jameson was up, 2.30, didn't go back to bed. My brain's not working, I'm sorry. We are gonna build a pondless waterfall. The easiest way to learn something is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. We appreciate you guys tuning in. Jack? I'm excited. Why are you excited? We're not doing cleanouts today. What are we doing? A uh, little rehab project. Small, teensy little rehab project. Like a big 6,000? No. That's, no. I know. And I thought it was. Uh, no one, that's why you're happy. No one, no one told me that it wasn't going to be a 6,000. I was anticipating it, but I show up this morning and there's a 2,500 biofall sitting in the back of the truck. And so that's what we're going to be installing today. Good day. Saturday, right. sunshine is out. This is what happens when I drink coffee. If anyone's inquiring. <laughs> if you want to send Jack some Double shot package. vanilla. I'll... Jack and Jack 2.0, they're all about their double shots. Ooh. Life is good when they've got their double shots. Yes. Starbucks. guys jack and i out on a what was a spring cling out for us this year booty and i did the cling out and in the process of hooking everything back up to get it up and running for the season we discovered that the biofalls was cracked so we're going to be replacing that so yeah we're out here replacing a different brand skimmer biofalls so for everyone that's wondering the biofall starts the waterfall the skimmer is where the pump sits just so this guy he's new Sorry guys. I didn't have my double shot today. I'm just dragging on regular coffee. No, so. it's just it's just common sense. That's what you're missing. I didn't sleep good last night. Jameson was up, 2.30, didn't go back to bed. My brain's not working, I'm sorry. So we got a DIY pond that the homeowner built back in roughly 06. And we're doing a little bit of rehab for it. So we're gonna take this old broken biofalls out. We're gonna pull some of this rock work out. We're gonna sink our new 2500 in, get it hooked up, reconnect the liner to it, do our liner seal and then redo some of this rock work add a little bit of soil to help protect it because one of the issues that actually caused the crack on this thing we'll pull this apart and show you guys this thing is actually just sitting up out of the ground it's not protected by any soil the rock works just dry stacked around it so we're going to put our signature on it dress this thing up and get this thing back up and running see just down here in this corner the whole section is cracked out and it was just flowing out of there when we turned the system back on so that's where we discovered that this thing was leaking pretty good we knew over the last season or two that it had a leak but nobody could seem to find it so it definitely had gotten worse so when we went to turn it on there's about a four inch crack from about here all the way up past that stone so jack and i are tearing it apart we'll get this one removed and get a whole dug for our new 2500 and get rocking and rolling. How's your double shots doing for you? Pretty good. So here's another reason why it's very important to sink these down in the ground, get some ground protection, some dirt packed around them, keep these things from uh, cracking on their freeze thaw. Jack, what you got, buddy? So right now it looks like it's watertight and you cannot see any sunshine. Yeah, That's your magic now, trick. Yeah, and now things cracked at least a third of the way around. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. Jump on this side. Yeah, that thing's cracked all the way back to the front. Crazy. It almost looks like, oh well, yeah, it's right on the seam. Almost looks like a perfect salt salt cut. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Wow. All right, crazy. Well, good news is we're gonna get them fixed up. Yep, we got a new one. We got the demo about 95% done. Jack's uh, working on spotting where we're gonna put the new biofalls. We're gonna dig it in, drop it in just a little bit. Uh, and then we're gonna come back in and do some rock work back behind it and get everything reattached, new biofalls reseal, and we are good to go. So 
we're working off the old plumbing. Pipe's pretty stiff, so we're actually gonna use the heat gun, soften this pipe up to get it to curve down a little bit better. We're gonna cut that union off and get everything plumbed in with a coupler and then go into the MPT on the back side of the biofalls. So simple, quick, and easy. Ended up putting some new grommets in because this is actually a pre-used biofalls we had in the retail store. So we're installing it on this project. I got the retaining wall back behind it done, backfilled about 85% complete. Jack's gonna work on getting all the hardware on. It's got everything ready to go. So we're gonna finish that up and we're gonna build one drop coming out of this for the falls. Uh, finish stacking the rest of our rock work and do a quick little cling right where he's at, cling and rinse, and we'll be back in business. So when we're doing these biofalls, and I know we've probably we've mentioned it in plenty of our videos, but first of all, when you are using a used biofalls, make sure that the grommets are okay. Unfortunately, in St. Charles, we have pretty harsh water and it destroys the brass fittings that come in the biofalls. And so every couple of years, we're running into issues where we have to reseal the biofalls and that's usually the culprit is the, the brass fittings off the biofalls that let's disintegrate with the hard water. And so you just want to make sure that those are all intact. And unfortunately, in this case, they weren't, but we caught them in time before we sealed it all up and then down the road, it leaked. So you want to do that. And then also we reverse this face plate as we normally do. And then when I'm hooking up the biofalls, I always do the top two corners first and then the center. That way it squeezes everything in. And then I'll do a star pattern. So I'll either go from my left to my right and then to my middle. And then I'll keep going back and forth until all the screws are locked in and nice and tight. And we like to do that and because instead of having the silicone getting pushed all to one side, it allows it to evenly get squeezed and there's an even bead of silicone all the way around the face of that biofalls. Super excited, just wrapped up. This thing looks awesome. Jack did an awesome job building the falls, got everything dialed in, just got done cleaning up. Not bad for a Saturday morning little rehab project. Super excited how this thing turned out. Homeowner is gonna be ecstatic. The new homeowner is gonna be even more ecstatic getting to come out here and enjoy that awesome sound, as you can hear. So let me turn this thing around and show you what we got going on. We did the best we could with the rack choice that we had, disguised the bio falls, and the back retaining wall actually turned out really well. Had just enough stone to get everything done. Ended up using just out a yard of dirt in there, maybe a little bit more to build everything up, backfill properly, make sure that nothing will settle over time. Added a couple buckets of extra gravel throughout, restacked everything, kind of replaced some of the outcropping pieces to give it a little bit more definition and character for this feature. And really happy how the falls turned out. We got two drops coming out of there now instead of just one drop fall. Nice little pooling area right up here. And a little deep plunge area right in there as well. So really excited with how it turned out. Really happy with it. Hope the homeowner is happy as well. Just sent him some pictures. And here comes the kid, the myth, the legend himself, Jack 1.0. What do you think, man? I think it turned out really nice. Yeah. Nice work. Thank you, you too. All right, man. Are you ready to go get uh, some Taco Saturday? Taco Saturday, baby. Right on, brother. Awesome. It's like the fifth time this week for tacos. Hey, man. Every day is a good day for tacos. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, as we always tell you, like, comment, subscribe, tell all your friends. Jack has friends. JD and I do not, so we need more friends. Yeah. Jack could always even use more friends. I so. could always use more. Tell all your friends. Keep coming back Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. It's been a little bit since we've done this. And then, uh, yeah, keep circling back. We're always putting out awesome content. We got some awesome, awesome projects coming out. And we got a uh, few other things we're working on. So, see you on the next one. Stay yeah, tuned. You always gotta come back and check it out. Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday. See ya.